What's up, New York? This is so cool. I have had the great pleasure of hosting five Hall H panels at San Diego Comic-Con, but this is the first time I've ever been to New York Comic-Con. This is my hometown. I'm so excited to be here. And I'm doubly excited to be here to introduce you all to The Great Wall, which is an epic film directed by a master filmmaker, Zhang Yimou. And this is a movie that is gonna be unlike anything you've ever seen when it comes out next February 17th. And what else is really cool about it is that it features a spectacular international cast, several of whom are here with us today. So I'm gonna bring them out one at a time. I'm gonna start off with someone that I think you guys know. And when I went and looked through his filmography, I was just blown away to be reminded about Goodwill Hunting, Saving Private Ryan, Talented Mr. Ripley, Ocean's 11, 12, and 13, The Departed, Elysium, The Martian, Jason Bourne, and now The Great Wall. Please welcome for the first time in New York Comic Con, Matt Damon. Great to see you. By the way, I hear that all the time, especially when I walk down the street in New York, people are like, Mad Damon. <laughs> all right, that, so that movie, it, it, <laughs> it keeps going. <laughs> couple, couple quick questions for you. What's today's date? October! Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's my birthday, October 8th. Have you, have you ever had 5,000 people sing you happy birthday before? <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear man. Happy All right, we're done. No, no, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> That's it. Listen, I've seen some footage of The Great Wall and it really blew me away. Have you ever done anything that's on this scale before in your career? No, I mean, <clears throat> well, that's kind of why I wanted to do it. It was unlike anything I'd ever been able to do before. Um, and I'd been following Zhang Yimou for years. I mean, since Raise the Red Lantern and I saw that I think when I was in college. And, and, you know, and then, I mean, Hero, and I mean, there's so many movies that he's made that I just, that, that blew me away, just kind of visually what he can, what, he, what he's able to do. And there, there aren't, you know, there's like a handful of people um, who can even work on that scale and nobody who works like him. So when he, when he offered me the job, it was like, it was, I'd been waiting for it for a long time. Are there things that you particularly like about William Guerin, the guy that you played, besides, of course, the long flowing hair? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I love the character. I love the, you know, the idea. I mean, ultimately, it's, it's a, a monster movie. I mean, it's, you know, monsters are attacking the, uh, the Great Wall, and, and, and we all defend it. So it's historical fantasy, and, and I'd never really done that before. Um, but, um, but if I was ever going to do something like that on that scale, it, it would have to be with someone like Johnny Mo. So we'll learn about, as we learn about this movie, the, the creature which is called the Tao... Te. The Tao Te, yeah. And the Tao Te is well known in Chinese mythology. Was it exciting and fun for you to learn about this as you went about the movie and talked to the director? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember the very first meeting I had with him, he kind of unveiled what, it, what they were going to look like. And, and uh, you, you, I mean, it just felt very exciting to be, to, to incorporate Chinese mythology into, into um, a, a big kind of Hollywood, you know, um, sword and sandal epic. Um, but, uh, but it's unlike anything that I've, I've ever seen. And then when I did an interview with Zhang Yimo last week in Los Angeles, he said that it was great to have you on the set because of your writing background, you were able at opportune moments to actually suggest interesting lines of dialogue and, and change the couple things, and he was really grateful. Was that fun for you to do? I too? hope so. <laughs> 
Um, maybe if you um, see the movie, and if you guys like it, then I, I, I wrote a lot of it. <laughs> um, if not, not so much, then, uh, then I completely blame Tony Gilroy. <laughs> Well, as I mentioned at the beginning, there is an amazing cast from all over the world. So I want to bring uh, one of Matt's co-stars out. And this is a woman who plays the badass commander, Lin May, and she's absolutely lovely. Please welcome Jing Tian. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome. Thanks. It's Hi, great Matt. to see you. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you. I love it. That was a great moment. Um, it must have been so fun to play such a badass army commander <laughs> character. What was it like for you? Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> mm, this character. Uh, is an incredibly powerful female character. And she's very strong, brave, and determined. Mm. As a leader of the army, she shows a lot of wisdom and courage. Uh, one of the things that I love the most about the story is the equality between men and the women in leadership roles. Nice. The respect that all of... <laughs> The respect that all of these warriors have for one another, regardless of gender, is something that I wish we could see more in film and in real life for that matter. Thank you. And uh, also, historically, society and the army have always been dominated by men. It's very unique to have a female general. Um, so, Audiences will see this character brings a lot of girl power to the movie. <laughs> and uh, thank you. Um, yes, she is uh, such a kick ass role. So I got to do so many awesome stunts as well. It was pretty cool. What's a, what's a stunt that you remember being particularly challenging that people can look forward to? Mm. I think there are a lot of things people can look forward. And the, for me, the most important thing is I was able to work with Matt together. <laughs> I'm a and huge like fan a of yours. <laughs> <laughs> but the girls in this, are, are they really are um, badass. They, they, um, there's a whole crane core that um, Johnny Mo decided early on to separate the, um, the soldiers by color. And because he works with color so much in all of his films, like, you, you know, when you see this army, it's divided into different colors that he spent a really long time specifically figuring out <clears throat> exactly the right hue for each color. And, um, and the, the, uh, the women wear blue. They're called the Crane Corps. And, they, and it's really incredible what they do. And it's, they dive off of these, like, parapets. It's like this incredible thing that these... Um, the, these women did for uh, for us in the movie, and, and you'll see a little in the, in, in the trailer, but it's pretty Great. pretty incredible. Okay, so I have a feeling in this room there's probably one or two fans of Narcos, yeah. or yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Well, then you'll recognize the next cast member we're going to bring out. Please welcome Pedro Pascal. <laughs> What's up? What's up? So I've... I didn't know we'd be doing individual interviews. It's I know. scary. It's, a, it's, like it's all a group sit thing. sit here and shut up. Yeah, it, this is your moment. I've read that your two characters, Pedro, your character and Matt's character, are described as partners in, in crime. How would you describe the relationship between the two characters? Barbarian lovers. Yeah. <laughs> I'd see it. It's an ancient love story uh, between two mercenary men. Uh, we're partners in crime. Yeah, we look after each other. I'm definitely one to um, look after myself, and I, I would say that that's why I stick with William, because it's the best way to survive. His character's name is William, by the way. Yeah. Do, have we covered that? Yes, but that's okay. okay. We can, They're like, who's we William? 
Chile. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Santiago. And my understanding, Pedro, is that you are basically a Zhang Yimou super fan. I am. And that you worked overtime to get this part. My family is actually here. My sister can contest to this. She's somewhere in the audience. Um, yeah, I'm a super fan and a super nerd. I, 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 was get, I got into Chinese cinema when I was a kid. And um, I like walked by myself to the one sort of art house movie theater in our neighborhood in Orange County, California to see the story of Kuiju. That's how cool I was. <laughs> I had lots of friends. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was super into him and I continued to study him as a filmmaker throughout, throughout the 90s. And, uh, and, then, and, then when, and then Hero came and blew all of our minds. What's the story I've heard about someone, either you wrote him a note or he wrote you a note and it's framed yeah. or something? I wrote him, a, I wrote him, a, I wrote him an email, uh, you know, just going crazy uh, at the thought of uh, being in a, a film with him. And I just wrote him an email and I, I told him exactly what I'm saying now, how much I loved his work, what an honor it is, what a dream, et cetera, et cetera. And I just, I kissed his ass basically in an email. <laughs> and um, I meant every word. And then I got to China and, uh, and he had given me this beautiful, oh, I wish I had a picture of it, this beautiful um, uh, handwritten letter in Chinese characters that I have framed in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, do you have one framed in your bedroom? I actually do. Wow, yeah. okay, nice. So listen, Matt, you're a big deal. We, you know, you got, you got, a, ton of, you got a ton of fans. Right. You got a ton of fans here. But the, the case could be made that you are not the biggest star in the cast of The Great Wall. I'm not even close. <laughs> I'm not even close. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the next cast member, a little young, young man who's about to come out. What can I say? I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, making his film debut in The Great Wall, please welcome Wong Jun Kai. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Wong Jun Kai. You want to meet Carrie? Thanks for coming. Welcome to New York. <laughs> Thank you. This is your first time here. Yes. What are your first impressions of this city? Uh, oh, it's a very beautiful city, wonderful yeah, city. Yeah. What have you done so far? Uh, I stayed in the hotel the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hoping to do? if you can leave the hotel. <laughs> uh, maybe watch TV, watch the movie. Uh, can you yeah. uh, watch a movie, yes. Yeah. I think they all want to know at what time yeah. and maybe, what maybe film they... you will be seeing, right, yes. the theater, right. Yes, okay, great. Uh, Gary, I want to know, this is your first film, you've done television, you've done music, what did this project allow you to do that you've never been able to do before? Working on an international blockbuster is extravagant. It's awesome. I learned a lot. Yeah. I can really concentrate a lot and learn so much from everybody. What would you say is your favorite thing about your character in the film? Because he's a young emperor. Even though he's terrified on the inside, on the outside, he's super strong. Does he boss, does he boss everybody else around? Yeah, yes I do. <laughs> I can't wait. 
Well, listen, we've heard this cast talk about how much they idolize Zhang Yimou. I'm sure there are many people here who love Zhang Yimou as well. Before we bring him out, let's take a look at a quick highlight reel of some of his incredible work. Jean Nemo! What is it like to see this many members of your cast in one place at the same time? Uh, Making this movie is awesome. Being able to work with Matt, Ken, Pedro, and Jun Kai. We're so many great actors. It was such an honor. And working with the crew, a thousand people. This is so awesome. And also, we have over a hundred translators on this film. I can't. So how much longer does it take to make a film, your first film in English, given the fact that so many translators were there? Uh, From when I first started to now, it's about three years. It took three years. It's a very long time. Even though we have good translators. <laughs> Oh, I regret that I didn't speak English, so I can't say happy birthday to Matt Damon. <laughs> you can do it in your language. Yeah, you remember writing that letter for Pedro, so he could maybe write a happy birthday. There you go. Uh, this movie is made for the world audience. We have people working from all over the world, and, and from the United States and from China, and we worked really hard to present this movie to you guys. Is there something that you wanted to do with this film, maybe technologically or otherwise, for the first time that you had never done before? First of all, we can't shoot in the real wall. So we made a great wall in Qingdao. We made three walls, actually. 
能二十多米高的一个长城。One is about twenty meters tall. 还有个十米高左右的一个中等的。One about ten meters tall. 还有一米高左右。And then one is one meter tall. 为了方便拍摄，搭了三段长城。So to facilitate filming, we made three walls. 实际上整个拍摄还是很艰苦的，所有的工作人员和演员都要付出很多努力。There's a lot of hard work making this movie. A lot of the crew and cast had to put out a lot to make this happen. 呃，其实最有意思的可能还是怪兽。The most interesting is actually the monster. Everybody has interaction with that monster. And fighting a monster on the Great Wall, it's going to be spectacular. You never see that before. In this country right now, the concept of building a large wall to keep out <laughs> An unwanted element is something that's very timely. What, what has it been like for you to see these parallels over the last year? That's a different movie. <laughs> I gotta just say, I, I just got a text from my, my dad um, that, I, that you just reminded me I should probably read. Um, it said, happy birthday, my boy. My birthday present to you is letting you know that in exactly one month we can kiss Trump goodbye. <laughs> he says, he said, now that's not a bad birthday present. I doubt you'll get a better one. <laughs> Love you, Dad. I th I thought let's, let's leave our walls to the movies. Exactly. Yeah. Seriously. Although if he did get elected, we got to worry that Mexico might actually put up a wall to keep him out. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, my understanding, Matt, is that you have brought this amazing audience. And by the way, you guys are an amazing audience. I love you. That you've brought a little something special for them. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see a trailer for the movie. Um, it's never been seen anywhere before, so we were hoping to show it to you guys. Okay, this is the brand new trailer for The Great Wall. Check it out.
My last question. You each have one word to describe the experience of making this movie. Incredible. Tian, one word. Amazing. <laughs> Can we put bad and ass together? <laughs> Badass. Uh, fight. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you can't you can't catch your breath. Oh, I love it. Well, clearly you can't. I want to thank this entire panel for being here. Matt Damon, Jing Tian, Pedro Pascal, Wang Jung Kai, and Zhang Yimo. Thank you so much. New York Comic Con, you're incredible. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.